Let's go ahead and yeah, yeah. I know you're gonna probably be staring at the ass the entire time. That's fine, man. Believe me, I did the same thing the first. Yeah. This is not the room you need to go to. I did the same thing like the first, you know, half hour of the game. I was just, you know, just perplexed by the booty. Welcome everybody to the Falcon One Shot. I'm your host for the evening. The Birdman known as Falcon, and this right here is Dick Simulator 2016, otherwise known as Haiti. Now, you know, I'm poking fun at the game over here, but let me tell you, I had a lot of doubts about this game coming in, but I've been playing it, and I know what you're looking at the screen over here thinking, okay, I know what you're thinking right now, but before you think that, let me tell you about this. It's actually a really fun, and I'm not even joking around, it's not like, you know, Falcons is being funny again. No, no, this is actually a really fun, challenging game. And it gets really challenging to the point that it starts pissing you off. And the more it pisses you off, the more you want to play it. And you start forgetting about the fact that there's a girl over here, or like a cyborg, I guess, with giant boobs. By the way, I was told those are not boobs, but they're actually batteries to kind of keep her going, because she's a cyborg. So it makes sense, right? But... But, there's a big butt here. <laughs> and no, I'm not talking about Haiti. But there's a really big butt here. I, I have a load for us where I kind of want to start this game off at. It says softcore. <laughs> it would. But I want to show you the start so you get an idea as to what the... Well, I was going to say story, but there's actually... There's a story. But it's really up to you to find out what it is. And I have no idea what it is just yet. Let me go into um, softcore here. Alrighty, so. Here we go. The reason why I wanted to start off over here is because I feel like the story is done in like a it's done like in a very like uh, not so obvious way. So you kind of have to see what your surroundings and your level design are to kind of figure it out. So this is us. We're Haiti, but apparently we're not the only Haiti because there's obviously a lot more here. But we're the only one that happens to be active that we know of. And this is what I talk about the fan service over here. Yeah, that ass is for real. I told you, man. This is a completely thick simulator, and I'm down with that, man. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of thickness, you know what I'm saying? So over here, we're gonna climb this up. <laughs> and yes, I'll even show it off for you. This is what happens when you climb up these things. And you think that's it? Oh, we're not done yet. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna probably have an issue with that, but... Believe me, that's the first thing I noticed and I was thinking, oh yeah, that's where I thought the game was gonna be like, yeah, like, whatever. And then I started playing and I was like, you know what, I forgot about that completely. And it was just all about survival and challenge, trying to figure out these puzzles. Um, if we come down over here, I find that to be really, really interesting. That's where I think the whole portal, you know, I guess influence comes into play. You'll be seeing a lot more of you. As I mentioned, we're not the only one. Who knows how many thousands it's been? Oh, what's really weird, I did that to demonstrate this. Whenever you die, you don't instantly respawn. I'm not sure if that's actually meant to happen or what, but... You literally have to go into load and load your um, last save. Now, I mentioned I'm going to load into my actual save file now to kind of um, show you more of the game. Because here I have a weapon, I'll have some enemies to show off and stuff like that. At the start of the game, it's kind of like more puzzle oriented. Um, saves are limited. You have to find little diskets in order to save. If you run out of these diskets, you can't save anymore. So you gotta find them. So, it's kinda like the old school Resident Evil games where you had to find the, you know, the, the ink ribbons and you had to be very careful how you use them. Like, um, you know, you don't wanna go ahead and spend all of them really quickly because you'd be in trouble later on. It works out very much that way, so the game does not, you know, forgive. And if you screw up early on, it could be really difficult for you to get back into the game. So, right now I do have a gun. I know where I wanna go, but... I want to come down through here first because there's a couple of items I think could really help us out trying to find uh, or going forward anyway. So let me see if I can make this jump over here, which I did. Great. Let's go ahead and yeah, yeah. I know you're gonna probably be staring at the ass the entire time. That's fine, man. Believe me, I did the same thing the first. Yeah, this is not the room you need to go to. I did the same thing like the first, you know, half hour of the game. I was just, you know, just perplexed by the booty. But after a while, I started looking at the booty and started playing the game, having some fun. So I think we could drop down over here and we should be fine. Great. I think we got to come in through here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Soak it all in, man. All right. But we want to come in through here because there's items that we do need in order to proceed. You guys are taking this serious, right? Take the goddamn game serious. Stop looking at the ass. Stop being perplexed by the jiggling motion and everything. It's a fun game. I'm not even making that up. It's not like Falcon's looking for an excuse to play this game. I'm really not. Okay, there's plenty of other games I could be playing right now. But this one... 
It's got me a little bit hot under color, not because of what I'm looking at here, I assure you, but just because of how difficult it actually is. So, if we come in through here, we have, us again, another one of these um, cyborgs. And she has a med kit on her, which is great, because we're going to need that probably. Now, I was looking for a couple more bullets. I forget where the other bullets were at. I I've gone through this portion of the game already, so I, I kind of have an idea what I'm trying to do or find. Oh, you know what? It's up there. This is where I'm talking about where the complexity of the puzzles come to play. Like, you're thinking this is like a just a typical room, right? But if you look around, you'll see a lot of cool stuff. Now, for instance, we can climb over this thing because of the fence there. But if you just rotate around... <laughs> if you rotate around, you're at a different level now, right? Well, elevation anyway. Back there is an item. That's what I was looking for. So now we can do this. And grab ourselves a couple of extra bullets, which we are going to need. Uh, one thing I don't like about the game, I will admit, is the the combat. I don't feel like it's really too intuitive. Like, when you use the gun, it doesn't feel like, you know, you're shooting something. It feels like you're kind of, like, pew-pewing. Which would be fine if it was, like, lasers, but... You'll see what I mean here pretty soon. But let me really quickly reload this to the max capacity, which is going to be up to 12. Alrighty, cool. So now we come down below over here. And we're going to go up to the where we started from. And show you how that works out. Now, is there a way for me to get up? E e no. No, I think we're gonna have to go here through here, aren't we? Yeah. So. Excuse me. Really? Oh, yeah. For some reason, you can't climb stuff when you have the gun. So you have to unequip the gun to be able to climb. Really wonky, but eh, you know, it happens. So you gotta do, you gotta do it. I'll get up through here. Alright, so we're back where we basically started off at, but we have now some medication and some bullets here to kind of go forward. Let's go ahead and equip this. Now here's where I t I'm going to talk about the combat. I'm not, I'm not too much of a fan of the combat. I, I appreciate the, the exploration method, how difficult the platforming can be, and how, like, you know, you gotta think about the puzzles, right? But the combat is just not really good at all. Like, it's just kind of like against you, it makes you die really easily. Now, we have... It's all about looking at your locations. You can see over there is an ambush. Down here we have this guy who's really, really fast. He's got like sword hands and shit. He'll rip you apart really, really easily. Um, so what I want to do here... Oh! You just spotted me already. You see? There's no indication that you're actually landing those shots other than them, like, you know, just aiming the arrow reticle on them and then them kind of like jumping back a bit from the damage but there's no like actual like you know force of the gun impact or like you know it doesn't feel like there's a recoil or something which you know i guess is a futuristic gun that would probably explain it but still the combat just doesn't feel too fluid for me um alrighty now this guy's over here you don't really have to kill him they're very slow sword guy is like a pain in the ass so that guy you definitely want to go after these guys over here not really that big of a deal alrighty i normally just lure him out and just run around that's fine. Now, let me make sure this is where we're going. It is... N Actually, it is where we're going. Okay. This is another g uh, room with a bunch of ambushes as well. Um, we can't go in through there, right? Now. Um, we have triggered that guy. I, I don't really have all the ammunition in the world, so I'm trying not to like use it all up. The problem is I'm going to have to use it now because this guy spotted me. And he's not even the issue. He's not even the issue. The issue's gonna be around the corner with this ambush over here. This fucker. Don't, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I took a health pack right now. That guy will just wreck you so easily. That's where I mentioned the combat isn't really good. You get stun locked very easily. These guys do a ton of damage. There's really no indication how much damage you're gonna do. It just seems to be like really at random. Alrighty. Now. More bullets over there, which is fine. Unfortunately, we're out of medkits now. Um, we have a bit of a puzzle here. We have Sword Dude, we have Slow Hugger, and we have Bullets. Uh, okay, let's start off by opening. What do we open up? Here we go. Bullets, great. You reloaded? I'm reloaded. Alright, great. So now, let's uh, maybe... Ah! Oh, <laughs> close. Can't really take any damage right now because uh, we don't have any more extra health packs here. Um, luckily for us, killing that guy does give us access to this. 
I like how these are the discs in order to save, and it says save me. It's I like that little bit. And I've also noticed as well that the bullet box has um what looks to be a naked female. <laughs> As I mentioned, if you get over the fan service, it's definitely a really fun game here. Alrighty, so now we just need to get through there, which is our next um, goal. Let's, uh, I don't even know how to open that up. Pick stuff at random here. That didn't really do it for me. Oh, it opened up the door behind him. Okay, that's great. Now, how do I open his door? That didn't do it. Nope. Oh, there he comes. As I mentioned, this guy we don't have to kill. You really easy to dodge? Conserve our ammunition. That should have opened that exit now. All right, come at me, bro. Let's come up around, come up around, and dodge around. Good. <laughs> yeah, apologies for the cut there. Had a bit of a phone call to take. Um, what are we doing here? We're in a room with... Oh, okay, yeah. So this is going to be another really interesting room where a lot of the puzzling aspect comes into play and where you kind of challenge you a little bit to figure out what you have to do. Um, I'll give you the solution because I already know what it is. But you see that over there. I mean, the first time around, you probably won't understand what the hell that is. That's actually a mine. If you go through this entire area and come up around here without knowing what that is, that blows you up instantly. So you're supposed to kind of like shoot it from afar. Got rid of the mine right there. But the first time around is going to get you every single time because you're like, what the hell is that? I'm very salty right now. Alright, you know the worst thing about that is that, as I mentioned, the saves are limited, so I have to kind of retrace everything I already did all over again. So instead of doing that, I'm going to take us over to a different portion of the game. As you notice, this was kind of like very evidently like a red type area. The next, I guess, area over is green. I don't know which one you're supposed to beat first. I imagine red because you start off in red and then eventually you make it over to green over there. Um, and green is um, even more difficult than red, so I, I guess you got to finish up over here and probably get a couple of power-ups. But you can do some of the puzzles here earlier if you're looking for items anyway. So we're going to do a couple of stuff over here in the green area. Um, this one seems to be, at least to my limited knowledge so far, a lot more platform heavy. Is this where I'm looking? Am I looking to go to? No, you know what? This is actually the entrance of the blue area. Yeah, okay, so from green we go over to blue area. Um, I've, I haven't done anything over here, I have no idea what you do here, but I have to imagine we can't swim, so... Wrong point. I think we have to enter green area from the bottom if I'm right. So, let's see... There should be... Drop-off point over here. There's a lot of fall damage in the game too, so I'm always very cautious of where I drop down. Here we go. This should lead us to it. Any ambushes here? I don't even remember what's over here. Um, let's see. Take gun out just in case. No, we're fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Here we go. Okay, here's the area I was talking about. This is like... <laughs> I'm not a fan of, like, platforming when it comes to, like, first-person games. Third-person game is even worse. This is another part of the game I'm not really too crazy about. Like, I don't mind the puzzles where you're kind of, like, you know, grappling around the walls like your Spider-Man and shit. That's cool, I like those. This here is very, um, reliant on your ability to land these spots. There is, luckily for you, a save room over here. Unfortunately, we don't have any discs anymore to save because I died. There's nothing in this case as well, so... We'll say this, I'll try to get as far as I can over here, and if I die, we'll probably wrap it up. But you get an idea of what the game's all about. There's a lot of these rooms, there's 160 rooms in total, if I'm correct, and... It's a really cool puzzle game, believe me, like, there's a bit of combat. It's not really just a puzzle game, but it's a really fun game. It's just, you know, a lot of people just see the Haiti over here, which is nothing wrong with her, obviously. But a lot of people see that and be like, ah, it's like a silly, stupid game. It's like, no, it's actually kind of really fun and difficult. Um, let's see. Plus, it's got an amazing plot, right? Let's see if we can make this jump here. Okay, made the jump. Um, if I'm correct, to jump over here again, and then from this point... Oh no, this is already set up? Oh, I couldn't even see that from the other angle. Oh, makes sense, I couldn't see it. Uh, we're supposed to jump over to that one, and then over here, over there, and hit that green button over there. I've done this um, puzzle before, and that ultimately opens up either access to a little access vent over here, or 
the door over there. Assuming we make it to one of them. I'm not sure we will. Okay. That worked out slow. Remember, my save point's all the way back in that red area, so if I die, we're wrapping up here, guys. I apologize, but I ain't doing this shit again. Fuck you! God damn it! Uh, <laughs> I didn't want. I wanted to show some more. All right, guys, that's Haiti for you. Information below. Have all the information on the game, or yeah, that's right. The description below. Information about the game down below. Uh, I'm not sure how much it's gonna cost. Again, don't be put off by. Well, actually, as a matter of fact, some of you guys won't be put off by the um, fan service. I have to admit, but underneath the fan service, definitely a fun, challenging game, which I wasn't able to show too much off, but. Um, I don't want to just show you the start of the game because it's kind of like the really easy stuff. So I wanted to show you more of the difficulty spikes down the line. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.